2016 Freedom 55 Financial Championship is complete through its third round with McKinsey PGA Tour Canada. Despite a little bit of rain in Ontario, start on 12 with Vaita Guillaume. For birdie, had a hot start to his tournament, shooting 63 on Thursday. Shot twin 68s on Friday and Saturday. That was one of four birdies he carded to get to 11 under, and he is T6. Over on two with Taylor Gooch. Set himself up for his first birdie of the day here. And kept his momentum going from Friday. Shot another 66 during the third round. Needs a top three finish this week to sniff the top 10 on the order of merit. And he is T6 at 11 under heading into Sunday. So on two, Austin Connolly shot 65 on both Friday and Saturday. Needs a solo third finisher better to have a chance at Canadian Player of the Year and the $25,000 that comes with it. He is T4 at 12 under. On 12 with Tane Lee, his approach made the turn and started things off with two consecutive birdies. On the par 5 12th, he would set himself up for a chance at Eagle. Lee trying to make his way back onto the web.com tour. Had a great day on Saturday. He climbed 10 spots up the leaderboard. He is solo third at 13 under. But there is a pretty good gap between solo third, solo second, and solo first. Aaron Wise is the guy in second, former NCAA champ, and number five on the order of merit. There he is on the second. Had a relatively quiet day, but got it to 17 under on Saturday. He is three off the lead, held by Paul Barjon. That's right, the Frenchman has a three-shot lead at 20 under. On 15, long birdie. Already had six on the card, and this would roll in for number seven. Started his week with a 63, but bested it with a nine under 61 on Saturday. On 17, his approach on the par four. Sticks it close, and that would set him up for birdie number eight. A win would get him inside the order of merit top 10 this week. And he finished strong on Saturday. Look at the wind blowing. Here on the 18th with his approach. Rolls it back. With a few feet left for a final closing birdie. And that would get him to the best 54 hole lead in McKenzie Tour history. He has a three-shot lead heading into the final round.